We're a little surprised to see how the market has been trading over the past 24 hours when considering the result of the U.S. producer prices print. Producer prices doubled forecast to suggest inflation is back on the rise. And yet what we've seen since then is an easing of U.S. rates selling in the U.S. dollar and move into risk assets. One would think a hotter inflation print would inspire the exact opposite reaction of higher rates, a stronger dollar and lower stocks. So how can the price action be reconciled? For one thing, it looks like the market focused on metrics within the producer prices data that showed some easing, metrics which more critically feed into the much-watched PCE deflator. And on top of this, the Fed chair could have also had a lot to do with this after downplaying and dismissing the producer prices reading, saying there's no need for services inflation to return to 2%. Of course, all of this will come back into question today with U.S. CPI data on deck. If CPI comes in above expectation, we think it'll be a lot harder for the market to be dismissive. Other key standouts on Wednesday's calendar include Eurozone employment, Eurozone industrial production, Canada housing starts, U.S. retail sales, New York empire manufacturing, U.S. business inventories, NHB housing, and some Fed speak. That's all for now.